So we're going to be taking a look at lighting. Uh, with lighting, the number one rule that you really want to focus on is safety. Safety, whether you're putting in new light fixtures or updating your light fixtures, is number one and key. Uh, before you're actually doing any work with uh, old lighting, uh, new lighting, you want to ensure that the breaker is turned off at home. Uh, even just turning off the light switch is not as simple. Uh, you could have a hot loop that is still running uh, electric through the fixture. So you really want to make sure you cut it off as breaker at the source. Uh, in these instances, I like to uh, work with a partner uh, at the breaker box uh, before we actually start working on the fixture. That way you can communicate and make sure uh, the uh, power is killed to the unit. When you're looking at the, any of these light fixtures, um, you want to make sure that you have a couple different items. Something as simple as just a flathead and Phillips head, some electrical tape, and your wire nuts. Uh, for the most part, that'll get you through most electrical installations. A couple of different items that might help out would be either some wire strippers or wire cutters. Uh, but for the most part, these will get you through the whole situation. When you're looking at in most situations, unfortunately, wiring isn't always universal. Uh, more often than not, you'll see just two wires coming out. Uh, black and white coming out of your old fixture or into you, out of your junction box. Some older homes, unfortunately, you'll just see black wires coming out, but that's not a problem. You'll, as long as you go two for two or one to one, you should be fine. Uh, this third wire here is just the grounding wire, uh, and that should match up pretty directly. That Usually that's a smaller gauge there too. Uh, whenever you're disconnecting, all you want to do is ensure that you have a safe and secure ladder. Uh, if for some reason you want to make sure uh, you don't have a partner, just ensure that the ladder is secure and stable enough for you to climb and still be able to use both hands. Uh, most ladders have a little platform area for you to set all your tools and your fixture to work on. A couple warning signs when you're actually into your fixtures uh, and looking and working with old work. Uh, you want to eyeball the wiring uh, before you really get started. A couple different things you want to look out for is if the jacketing is complete and ensure that there's no discoloration on any wire. Uh, if for some reason there is discoloration on the wire, uh, a couple different things could have caused that. Uh, too high a wattage of a bulb or just in general possibly needing an electrician to look at the full system. Uh, before getting started, ensure that all existing wire in the system is in peak condition. Uh, just for safety purposes. Anthony here in the lighting area. Just wanted to go over a couple different things when choosing your new lighting fixture. Uh, whether you're looking at color, uh, just right here we have a fixture here that is fluctuating between the different color levels that we uh, that are offered. Uh, these colors are based on a scale here, and it's the Kelvin scale. The softer whites are more for living areas and bedroom areas. And then the more towards the daylight are great for areas where you want to have a sterile light, like a bathroom, a kitchen, or an office space. A couple things that you also really want to factor in now is instead of looking at wattage when you're looking at bulbs, you want to look at uh, the lumen scale, uh, where it measures your actual brightness. The higher the lumens, the, more, the brighter the, uh, the light bulb. And that's especially important when you're actually looking at all these newer LED functions. A lot of these LED fixtures do not require any bulb changes. Uh, they are end of life fixtures when the fixture goes out, whether it's in 10, 15 years, 9 years. That's you, no bulb, just replace the whole fixture. And uh, when you're looking at it, that's the two options you really want to focus on, lumens and the Kelvin one.